I express my sincere thanks for the kind invitation to be the chief guest of the benedictory function of the National Legislators Conference. Much as I wished it would not be feasible for me to attain the function owing to my pre-committed engagements at the outset, I commend this initiative of convening the National Legislators Conference, which would facilitate bringing together legislators of legislative bodies from all across the country on a single platform for sharing their respective views of their experience as legislators. It is my fond hope that this gathering will promote meaningful dialogue and exchange of ideas to strengthen our democratic institutions. I would wish to share my views based on my more than half century experience as a legislator, both at the state level and in parliament on this occasion. As the legislators gather in this three-day conference to deliberate on the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead, it is essential to reflect upon the invaluable contributions of our Indian freedom fighters who laid the foundation for our constitutional democracy. The tireless efforts of visionaries like Mahatma Gandhi, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, and B.R. Ambedkar in saving our nation's destiny cannot be overstated. Mahatma Gandhiji's philosophy of non-violence and civil disobedience paved the way for a peaceful struggle against colonial rule. Pandit Nehru, with his deep commitment to parliamentary democracy, championed the cause of a united and progressive India. He recognized the significance of scientific temper and the need for a rational approach to governance. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's vision for equality and social justice found expression in the adopting of our revered constitution, which enshrines the principles of liberty, equality, fraternity, and justice. At this moment, I would want to quote Dr. Ambedkar, who famously said, political democracy cannot last unless there lies at the base of its social democracy. What does social democracy mean? It means a way of life which recognizes liberty, equality, and fraternity as the principles of life. As we celebrate the accomplishments of our democratic journey, it is imperative to acknowledge that there is still work to be done, enhancing the quality and standards of parliamentary debates and discussions is a pressing need. It is through informed and constructive deliberations that we can address the concerns of our diverse nation and arrive at a comprehensive solutions. We must strive to foster an atmosphere where ideas are debated based on their merit and the collective wisdom of our legislators saves our policies and laws. Furthermore, the legislator's duty 
and responsibility to act as a check on the executive cannot be understated. The separation of powers is a cornerstone of our democracy, ensuring that the executive remains accountable to the people. It is crucial for legislators to uphold this responsibility with the utmost diligence, maintaining a robust system of checks and balances to safeguard the interest of our citizens. We must always remember that democracy can only function through debate, deliberations, and discussions. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, in this regard, had once said, democracy means tolerance, tolerance not merely of those who agree with us, but of those who do not agree with us. I believe that such conferences provide a valuable platform for legislators to collaborate, learn from each other's experiences and contribute towards the progress and well-being of our nation. I wish this conference all the success. Thank you.